Today, we will talk about disruptive technology and how it affects our lives. Disruptive technology is an innovation that significantly alters the way that consumers, industries, or businesses operate. It can involve everyday technologies like e-commerce, online news sites, and ride-sharing apps. In the past, examples of disruptive technology include the automobile, electricity service, and television. Clayton Christensen introduced the idea of disruptive technologies in a 1995 Harvard Business Review article. Even a startup with limited resources can aim at technology disruption by inventing an entirely new way of getting something done. Established companies often lack the flexibility to adapt quickly to new threats, leading to opportunities for disruptive businesses. Risk-taking companies may recognize the potential of disruptive technology in their own operations and target new markets that can incorporate it into their business processes. Companies that fail to account for the effects of disruptive technology may find themselves losing market share to competitors that have discovered ways to integrate the technology. Blockchain, the technology behind Bitcoin, is a decentralized distributed ledger that records transactions between two parties. It has enormous implications for financial institutions, such as banks and stock brokerages. For example, a brokerage firm could execute peer-to-peer -peer trade confirmations on the blockchain, removing the need for financial intermediary costs and dramatically expedite transaction times. Investing in companies that create or adopt disruptive technologies carries significant risk. Investors can gain exposure to disruptive technology by investing in exchange-traded funds such as the ALPS Disruptive Technologies ETF, DTC, which invests in a variety of innovative areas such as the Internet of Things, cloud computing, fintech, robotics, and artificial intelligence. Here are three key takeaways. 1. A disruptive technology supersedes an older process, product, or habit. 2. It usually has superior attributes that are immediately obvious, at least to early adopters. 3. Upstarts rather than established companies are the usual source of disruptive technologies. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.